Greetings everyone, my name is Errol Coder, and this is Plantry Television. I had a listener just ask me regarding the controversy we, uh, between the melting of the, the Mars ice caps and the Earth's ice caps not having, you know, with, with Earth's side, not having human involved um, causes such as global warming, but in fact is an effect of um, from the sun itself, which would explain why both the, the, the moon, <laughs> or both Mars and Earth's polar ice caps are shrinking. Now I want to explain this for a moment because there is a difference between the overall shrinking of the ice caps over a period of time and its seasonal shrinking. If you were to look, look through binoculars right now in the east, uh, Mars is actually rising in the east about 10 p.m. It should be about 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you, with a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, you will eventually be able to see Mars and you'll be able to see the ice caps. It's, the ice caps through its season are slowly shrinking until it gets to a point where visually there appears to be no ice on the North Pole. But there is. The ice itself, a lot of the ice will, be, will appear as the red rust color of the the surface, but it still is um, solid carbon dioxide. The same goes for Earth, where once it, it, it moves from its winter season towards its spring season, the ice caps, you know, the, 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 the ice will slowly recede from, you know, northern Canada, uh, Siberia, Iceland, and all that area. Now, this is different than, than the overall mass of the ice cap at its minimum slowly shrinking. This is the problem where they're, 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 they're coming about that that will cause our, our oceans to rise, uh, problems with our jet stream because the uh, desalinization and all that. And the controversy is, is that it's not being caused by human interaction, but it's actually being caused by influences from the sun. There is a recent article that was published on the National Geographic website, uh, written by Kate uh, Bravillanis back in February uh, 28, 2007, and it, it basically describes the situation and the findings from um, uh, a local researcher, or a, a researcher in uh, planetary sciences. Basically explains that there is a simultaneous warning on Earth and Mars that suggests that our planet's recent climate changes have a natural and not a human introduced cause, according to one scientist's controversial theory. Earth is currently experiencing rapid warming, which the vast majority of the climate scientists say is due to humans pumping huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Now, same as Mars. Mars, too, appears to be enjoying more mild and balmy temperatures. In 2005, data from NASA's Mars Global Surveyor and Odyssey missions reveal that the carbon dioxide ice caps near Mars' South Pole uh, have been diminishing for three summers in a row. Um, Habilio Abdumasatov, if I can get his name correct, um, head of space research at St. Petersburg Volkovo Ast Astronomical Observatory in Russia, says the Mars data is evidence that the current global warming on Earth is being caused by changes in the Sun, which was the argument. The long-term increase in solar um, irradiance is heating both Earth and Mars, he said. Now, Abduzimatov believes that the changes in the Sun's heat outputs uh, can, amount, uh, can account for almost all the climate change we see on both planets, both Earth and Mars. Mars and Earth, for instance, have experienced periodic ice changes throughout their histories. Man-made greenhouse warning has made a small contribution to the warming uh, seen on Earth in recent years, but it cannot compete with the increase in solar irradiance, Abduzimov said. Now, by studying fluctuations in the warmth of the sun, Ab Abduzimov believes he can see a pattern that fits with the ups and downs in the climate we see on Earth and Mars. At the news and work, however, has not been received by uh, other climate scientists. Now, <coughs> with this research, uh, 
they, they're saying that his views are completely at odds with the mainstream science opinion, said Colin Wilson, a planetary sci uh, physicist at England's Oxford University. And they contradict the extensive evidence presented in the most recent IPCC, which is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report, um, that was recently uh, published in February 2nd, 2007. Now, Amato Evan, a climate scientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, added that the idea just isn't supported by the theory uh, by both observations. Now, the conventional theory is that climate changes on Mars can be explained primarily by small alterations in the planet's orbit and tilt, not by change in the sun. Wobbles in the orbit of Mars are the main cause of the climate change in the current era, Oxford Wil o Oxford's Wilson explained. Now, all planets experience a few wobbles as they make their journey around the sun. Earth wobbles are known as the Milakonovich cycle and occurred on times, time scales of between 20 to uh, 20,000 and 100,000 years. These fluctuations change the tilt of the Earth's axis and its distance from the Sun, and are thought to be a responsible, or, or thought to be responsible for the waxing and the waning of ice ages on Earth. You know, similar to how we how we have the the ice ages come and they go over a certain period of time, and they're frequent. We Earth, as from what I would believe, has had quite a number of ice ages, and they've they've gone. Now Mars and Earth wobble in different ways. And most scientists think it's a pure coincidence that both planets are between ice ages right now. Mars has no uh, large moons, which makes its wobble much larger, and hence the swings in climates are greater too, um, Wilson said. Now, perhaps the biggest stumbling block in Abduzinov's theory is, is, that, uh, is his dismissal of the greenhouse effect in which atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide help keep heat trapped near the planet's surface. He explains that the carbon dioxide has only a small influence in Earth's climate and virtually no influence on Mars. But without the greenhouse effect, there would be little, if any, life on Earth. Since our planet would pretty much uh, be as big, uh, as big as a, ice, or a big ball of ice, said Evan, at the University of Wisconsin. Now, most scientists now fear that the massive amount of carbon dioxide humans are pumping into the air will lead to a catastrophic rise in Earth's temperature, dramatically rising, uh, raising sea levels and glacier melts, and leading to extreme weather uh, worldwide. Abaduzimov uh, remains uh, contrarian, however, suggesting that the sun holds something quite different in store. The solar irradiance began to drop in the 1990s, and a minimum will be reached by, uh, by approximately 2040, Abaduzinov said. It will cause a steep cooling of the climate on, on Earth in, in 15 to 20 years. Now, as you can see, while there has been discussion regarding this, this controversy, there are voices on either side. You know, the, the cooling on both, or the, uh, the melting on both planets while they may have similar effects, they are not caused by the same reasons. Mars may have uh, influences from Dion and uh, and Phoebe, its other its other moon, where it it, it ca the, the the gravitational effect on the, of the moons and of the sun causes uh, you know planets to wobble wobble in their axes, which will change its position. And you know, it could cause greater get greater melt periods. Uh, the same effect could be happening with Earth. There is, there's, you know, as you can see, there are studies saying that it could be due to uh, due to our uh, greenhouse effect, global warming. Uh, now that we are also going through a large um, a large a high solar period from the sun, so that could be causing an issue. So as you can see, there is no. Def uh, definite reason why both planets are melting their ice caps, and all we can do now is keep an open mind regarding you know, the reasons. Um, keep studying. Keep any possibility open. Don't don't lock everything out um, until solid evidence can be found. All right. I'd like to thank you for joining me. This was Errol Coder 
Send any questions to planetarytv at gmail.com. Thank you for joining me.